Hey everyone, it's Mystery Box Fiend. I'm back and it feels like it's been forever, so let's get into it and let's get this video going. <laughs> All right, folks, so 2021, it's here. It has been chaos. So before we get started with everything, jump below, hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, all that usual fun stuff. Throw me a comment down below. It's been what feels like forever. You can hit the little button over here. It's going to register you to the channel. All right, so we're going to catch up. We're going to do a bit of a quick catch up, wrap up. What's been going on? Why have I been missing in action? All right, so starting with the basics, uh, work has been phenomenally crazy. Uh, Mrs. Fien and I have actually taken the business to a whole new level. As of the 1st of June, we're going to become an independent real estate agency um, and be freestanding. No, no more shackles of uh, being told what to do, how to do it. And we're going to take the business to a whole new level. So super, super excited with that have also found a new hobby to do in my spare time as well to help me blow off a bit of steam. Might show you guys a little bit about that in another video. Um, don't know whether YouTube will actually let me put it up, but it is toys. We'll maybe cross that bridge. All right, so tonight, 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 I wanna show you a couple of things that I've got in the mail lately. Um, yeah, there's there's so much I want to show you, tell you guys. Okay, so we're going to start with the bed basics. A couple of pickups, specific orders. First and foremost, for my Iron Man collection, it is a Tony Stark Victory Shah Warmer Pop. Had to order it directly from Amazon to get the Amazon exclusive sticker. Next, I've got so many cool little bits and pieces. we got the Deadpool Blacklight. I know that's highly sought after at the moment. Seems pretty cool. Uh, what else have we got? Mrs. Fiend did me a solid, picked me up a signed Iron Man. Now, it isn't Robert Downey Jr.'s, um, does come with the authenticity. This is actually the person that voiced him in the cartoons. Uh, so very, very cool. I think this came from Aussie Collectibles. Was pretty stoked to find that. Uh, one day when I came home from work, the wife, you know, Mrs. Fiend, she gave it to me. Next, next, next. Mrs. Fiend picked me up a stack of the new little Iron Man soda cans. If you haven't seen them, let me grab it down. This is the new soda can of the Iron Man range. She ordered me six. I have five little normal Iron Mans. But I was absolutely tickled pink to nail a chase as well. Boom. Not a huge on the sodas, but it is Iron Man. So I had to have it. Mrs. Fiend knew it and she's all over it for me. She actually picked me up an Iron Man Mark 43 as well along in the travels. So that was pretty cool. All right, next. I managed to track down a Pepe Le Pew. Now, Pepe Le Pew, I had to have that one added to the collection because of the new Space Jam movie coming up. However, Pepe Le Pew has been deleted from Warner Brothers. Um, jokingly, I made a comment um, to Mrs. Fiend when we actually found out about it, about his uh, proclivity for the little cat. And funnily enough, that was actually the reason why um, he was wiped from their line was because of his uh, prowess towards that little black female cat. Google it, you'll, you'll understand it. Then, what else have we got? So, next, I picked up Stone Cold Steve Austin 7-Eleven exclusive. So this was released in the US. Um, Stone Cold, arguably one of, if not the one of, biggest names ever in uh, wrestling. Had to get my hands on those and being Stone Cold, I actually picked up um, three of them that are all the, the the exclusives. Got the guy to stick them in a hard stack and ship them to me in hard stacks. Two out of three of them are going to be tucked at the back of the shelf. They'll never see the light of day ever again. But I know that Stone Cold is so super popular that one day they will 
pop up in value. Another very cool thing was Rain Wilson finally, finally, finally did his signing with Dark Parlor Originals. I've had this on pre-order for ages and I finally got my Dwight signed as Rain Wilson Pop, Happy Days, or Rain Wilson signed my Dwight Shrew Pop. So pretty stoked with that. Now, the funny part was, is I actually ordered a mail-in version of this pop as well, of a pop for Dwight as well. Got the mail in, secured it, no problems. Ordered from NYE the Scranton Boys Twin Pack on the hopes that one day I may be able to get Steve Carell to sign his side of it. NYE actually cancelled my order. Wouldn't ship to a United States PO box. Um, couldn't get it to happen. They cancelled it. And none of my uh, US connections could hook me up in time to send the two-pack pop there to get it signed. Very, very kindly Dark Parlor hooked me up with an inscripted version of this pop. Now, there were only a 100 of these ones signed. It is Dwight with the Jello stapler, or the stapler in the Jello. Uh, 100 of those, and it says, damn it, Jim, or damn it, Jim. So... Absolutely stoked. Both of those are going straight into the collection. Um, Jen from the office has just done a signing. Stanley Hudson has just done his signing. They are on the way. Can't remember. I got my Brian from the office pop the other day. Uh, not Brian. Kevin Malone pop. That came as well. So much it's landed. But that's a bit of what I've picked up lately. The real reason for tonight is I've had this package come in to me. Now, I had I had a friend reach out to me on Facebook and saying, hey, look, I want to clear out some of the old pops that I've got in my collection. Don't want them anymore. If you pay for the shipping, I'll send you the pops. So this box cost me $46.70, and I think like two bucks in PayPal fees. So let's say 50 bucks. I have no idea what's in here at all. Nothing. Uh, so we're going to find out whether I got my money. Mrs. Fiend is chomping at the bit to see what's in the box. So we're going to get into it. We're going to find out what's in this box. And uh, do an unboxing. We haven't done one of these in so long. And it, uh, I'm feeling a bit rusty, actually. Although I've spent a lot more time in front of the camera, just not shooting pop videos. Uh, obviously, I've been in front of the camera more so for work. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, there goes one knife. Let's start with another one. It has been a crazy, crazy, crazy 2021. Throw me a comment down below. Tell me what's been going on for you in 2021. Has it been great? Has it been fun? What's been happening to you this year so far? So, ooh, inside here it has been packed extraordinarily well. We have sorters on virtually everything. We're going to have a lot of fun here because there's sorters and all good stuff. All right. I don't really have enough room on my desk, but we're gonna we're gonna try and make some room. Now, I'm going to obviously unbox these tonight, um, and then in the magical editing stage of the video, uh, we're gonna put the prices in the below section. We'll put them down the bottom here. That way, we know what we got um, in terms of dollar-wise, value-wise, etc., etc., etc. But yes, no idea what's in the box. Could be anything. Um, gonna be crazy. So, in fairness, when somebody says to me that, you know, they wanna offload a bunch of pops that they, you know, can't get rid of elsewise, um, you kind of sit there and go, mm, okay, high chance here that we could be just getting you know, a stack of $2 pops. 
pretty much. And then there's another box. Alright. Now I've got a mountain of pops here. I'm going to put that one down there for the second. We're going to get through this pile first so that we can start looking at each other properly again. So everything is in sorters. I don't know what we've got. Ready, set, go. Number one. Boom. What is it? Star Wars Holographic Emperor. Glow in the Dark Edition. Not a huge Star Wars fan, but it's a 2015. Okay. Interesting. As I said, I don't know what the values are. You guys are going to know the values before I actually do in terms of all of this. Uh, where are we going to put them? I just don't have enough room. Okay. We'll work on this. All right. Next. Ready, set, go. X-Men Deadpool. Oh, it's a blue Deadpool. That's a 2014. All right. Ready, set, go. Next. Wreck-It Ralph. Fun Bun. Ralph Breaks the Internet. That was the second one, I think. Yeah, Wreck-It Ralph was the first one. Ralph Breaks the Internet was number two. So that will be a more recent one. 2018. Cool beans, cool beans. All right. I'm going to have to throw sorters to the side. Let's get into these big ones. These are heavy. So probably being six inches, I'm mainly going to assume that these will be probably Dragon Ball Z things. It would be really cool. I don't even know what the size of it is. The Tiger Zord from Power Rangers. That would be awesome. Hobbit. Schmarg. Oh, and it's a chase. Huh. A 2014 chase. That is very, very cool. I think... From the way that I'm feeling about this already, I think I have... I have really been well looked after on this box. Um, yeah, this thing, this is, I'm sort of a little bit speechless on this. You know, it's great to come back to a box like this. Although I am drastically running out of room. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. We're gonna have to scan some bits and pieces as well, but we'll get to it. All right, next, 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 next. Ready, set, go. World of Warcraft Deathwing. I know absolutely zero about World of Warcraft. It was not my thing. I wasn't into it. But you know what? It is what it is. Um, I'm, loads of people love Warcraft, so I'll probably get flamed out for not liking Warcraft, but I just could never get into it. All right, next. Marvel Colossus. Very nice. And it's a 2014. Marvel, ever popular. I I don't know why. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know why. Like surely somebody would have loved all these pops. These are good, these are some cool pops. They're old, but they're nice. Ready, set, go. White Lantern. Superman. Oh, I don't think I've seen this one. I think I've had the white... I may actually still even have White Lantern Batman and White Lantern The Flash somewhere in here. Don't know. We'll have to look. That's cool. I have never seen that one. But if I have, still got it. 2014. Interesting. A little bit of a... All right. Let's do a dirty bit of sticky tape. Oh, good. All right. Next. What do we got? Ready, set, go. How to train your dragon, toothless. I won't even get to keep this pop. This will be going straight into Mini Fiend's collection. He'll steal that before I even get a chance. And I am hoping that somewhere in the rest of that is maybe the rest of that line. Because if that's the case, I'm going to keep it myself before Mini Fiend can steal it. All right, next. Ready, set, go. The Black Flash. I've never seen that one either. And it's a 2014. Dean, 
Mate, I think you have really well looked after me on this already. And I'm not even halfway through yet. Surely somebody would have got all oh. Happy for me. Ready, set, go. The flash. A nice little flash pop. Again, 2015. These are obviously been in his collection for a while. And you know what? The best part is... These boxes are very neat and tidy. They have been well looked after and well loved, which is awesome. Next, Harley Quinn. Ooh, and she's in a naughty nurse outfit. That's a very cool pop, and that's a 2014 pop. Harley Quinn has become more and more popular with Margot Robbie's portrayal from the Suicide Squad. Very cool. Very cool. Birds of Prey didn't really do it for me. Just saying. Just saying. Next. Here's a go. Killer Croc. Another Arkham Asylum one. Nice. It's a whole lot. I'm pretty sure I've got Batman 52 from Arkham Asylum. Somewhere in against here. The worst part about all that is I've still got to go through this and try and sort it out and create some normality to it back there because it has just become a hot mess. Um, whilst I haven't been shooting videos, there is so much double, triple stacked on these shelves at the moment that I don't even know what's in here. I've got to get into it. I need to run an auction to clear some space. Ready, set, go. Another Harley Quinn. Very, very cool. Very nice. I like it a lot. So yeah, there's um, there's so much. It's double, triple stacked, turned on sides, pushed to the back. I've just, I've got to get it sorted, but I'm struggling to find the time in the day to do it. Ready, set, go. Star Wars. Greedo. Credo, Greedo. 2015. I don't know who he is. Uh, yeah, that's about it for me. Don't know who he is. Looks pretty cool though. I think he may be from Star Wars 1. No. 3, 4, 4, 4. Star Wars 4. Maybe. That's my guess anyway. I'm not a Star Wars fan. Sorry guys. Don't know much about it. Can't help you on that one. Next. Ready, set, go. Boom. Harley Quinn with Mallet. Ooh. It is Underground Toys exclusive. That is very cool. Very cool. I've never seen that sticker. 2015. Wow, wow, wow. Surely I'm going to average out these pops that probably have got to have a minimum, minimum of a $10 valuation on each pop so far. There might be something that's absolutely golden inside of here. I don't know. Ready, set, go next. White Wonder Woman. White Lantern Wonder Woman. think I have got this one before. But again, goes to the set of four on the back. The white Batman, the white Flash, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, surely these have got to have minimum value. Average, blended, across the board, of at least $10.00. I think Dean said there was 26 pops in total. So even at $10, 260, it's a five times return on investment. Ready, set, go. Harley Quinn. I know this one's popular. I have had that a couple of times. It has sold like absolute hotcakes. 2014 Harley Quinn. Obviously Dean's a Harley Quinn fan. That's all good. Next. Ready, set, go. Billy Madison. Danny McGrath. I am going to hang on to that because that is cool. I've never seen that pop, actually. So I'll most likely be hanging on to that one. Very nice. Got his lipstick. Interesting. If you haven't seen the movie, check out the movie. Um, yeah. Funny, funny movie, that one, actually. You'd like that one. Next, next, next. What do we got? What do we got? Super bad, Seth. 
I think at one stage, and I don't know whether I still have it or not, I actually think I got either Evan or McLovin, I'm not sure. But that's cool. That is very cool. 2015. I don't know whether I still have it. I'm hoping I do. Maybe I might be able to track down the third and complete that set. All right, down to the last six. Last six. Sorters and stuff going everywhere. All right. Ooh. Gotta try and get one out. I haven't done this in so long, guys. I'm sorry. Ready, set, go. Marvel Magneto. Very cool. Same line as Colossus, I think. Number 60. Wherever he is, he's hopping down the back. Yes. So Dean is obviously sort of the X-Men Batman fans. Here's an empty box. Ready, set, go. Next. Smallville. Lois Lane. Meh. A little bit of whoopsie doopsies. Lois Lane. I've never actually seen that show. Never watched it. 2018 pop. Very cool. Never seen the new Smallville. It's actually one of those shows that's on my list of things to watch. Ready, set, go. The Joker. Nice. Poison Ivy. If that's in this box, that would be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Because it's probably the only one out of those five that I don't have. Next. Star Sapphire, Wonder Woman. Oh, this is the metallic one. I actually have, again, I have this one. And I actually think Dean sent the last one to me as well. Um, it's somewhere in a soft pop protector. In that way somewhere. That is very nice little pop. And I know that has some value to it. Uh, I think last time I saw it, it was going for about $50, $60 just on that one. Okay, lucky last. Let's end on a high, guys. Ready, set, go. Poison Ivy. That is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. The whole set, Arkham Asylum. I'm pretty sure number 52 is somewhere, bat, which is Batman down in there. So we just rounded out a whole set off the back of that. So that is cool. That is very, very nice. Very cool. I'm very happy. All the prices will be down the bottom. Total price. Pa -pa! Put that up on the screen now. What do you reckon? Was it worth the $50 investment? Give or take $50. Was it worth it? From where I'm seeing before I've even done value, I firmly, firmly believe so. But folks, I am going to try and put out a couple more videos. Um, they may be the older videos that I've pre-recorded that I just haven't had a chance to get to editing, but I hope you find some joy in them. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to try and get you at least one video a week. Sorry for the delay and uh, I'll be back again real soon with another video for you. So wherever you are in the world, stay safe, take care, love your loved ones, and I will see you again soon. <laughs> Hey, hey, before you go, Mystery Box Fiend, I just wanted to say a huge thank you very much for watching to the end of my video. And if you haven't already done it, make sure you hit this little subscribe button right here so you can stay up to date with all my new content that I'm putting out. And why don't you check out this video right here? I think you might like that one. If you like this video, I think you'll like that video there. So why don't you check it out? Until next time, I'll see you again real soon. Mystery Box Fiend, I'm out.